Okay, listen to this. There's a lot more of space to explore and a lot more to learn when we do. So I believe it's more important to ramp up our capabilities to reach and operate at a series of increasingly demanding targets while advancing our technological capabilities with each step forward. And that's what this strategy does. Now I could be jumping to conclusions, but I think he might be talking about wormholes. What are wormholes? Could they be science fact or are they science fiction? At the moment, they're a kind of hypothetical shortcut between two otherwise distant places in space. The possibility of wormholes is created by Einstein's theory of general relativity. His theory of gravity, which is 100 years old this year, happy birthday relativity. This theory describes that space and time combine to form a four-dimensional entity known as space-time. Einstein saw that when we think on the huge scale of galaxies and stars, we should think of space and time as mixed, part of the same thing. This space-time is often called the fabric of the universe. Gravity is produced by space-time curving, a bit like if you put a brick on a springy net which sags down and small rocks might roll towards it. Unfortunately, wormholes have a tendency to be unstable and collapse to form black holes. This happens so fast that it's probably impossible to get across to the other side of the wormhole before it collapses. So we should go faster, right? But it's so unstable that even if you're travelling at the speed of light, it will collapse before you travel to the other side. I wonder what happens to the unlucky characters stuck halfway. One way to keep a wormhole open longer is to create it out of exotic matter. We've never seen this exotic matter, but we know it causes anti-gravity that should force a wormhole open. The problem is, we need a lot of energy to do this. <laughs> and when I say a lot, that means a lot. To make a wormhole about the size of a baseball, you need the same amount of energy that our sun creates during a hundred million years. It seems unlikely that wormholes occur naturally, or that anybody has made them unless they have some serious power generation unit. So currently we have no evidence of wormholes, and they remain a theoretical possibility. Perhaps in the future they will become a reality, and we can ride them across far reaches of space, or never have to take the bus again. Subscribe, like and share for new Wonder Mins videos every week.